Welcome back to Maggie and Perloff. It is our pleasure to welcome to the set the former Defensive Player of the Year, the five-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro. Miles Garrett from your Cleveland Browns is here. Thank you so much for the time. On behalf of Sleep Number, how you been? I've been great. How about yourself? We're doing okay. We need some intel from you. Do you mind? Please. Okay. What do you need? You guys were the first team that handed San Francisco uh, their first loss of the season. They were red hot. They came in. You guys took care of business. You played against Purdy. Give us the scouting report, and why has he been so difficult for other defenses? Um, because he's able to, you know, pick his spots. I think, you know, with the offensive line that they have, you know, guy like Trent uh, Banks, you know, they have a, they have a pretty strong, you know, group overall. He's able to step into his throws, and uh, he likes to get it over to the sideline. You know, make him make him throw, you know, in between the hashes, get him uncomfortable, get him off the spot. I think he can get get frustrated, and and uh, you know, once he he starts feeling the pressure, you know, uh, you know, things start to get out of out of whack a little bit. On the other hand, uh, a very different quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. What's the strategy against a quarterback like that? You could do it all. True. Um, <laughs> it's not an answer. There, there's not a, a really good answer against that. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, you just got to frustrate him in different ways. You know, batting down balls, um, you know, getting hits on him early. I, I think uh, a lot of the time he he you know gets out of himself is when he's he's talking. Now, when you can get someone you know, talking to him, getting get in his ear, and he starts worrying about you, they, they, he's getting hit, he's getting off the spot, he's getting pressured, those things, then it really starts to, to get away from him a little bit. Okay. Miles Garrett is joining us on behalf of Sleep Number. We actually saw them do that to the Ravens a bit in the AFC Championship game. It was Kelsey getting under the skin. They're kicking uh, Justin Tucker's, like, kicking T out of the way. Uh, more quarterbacks we have to ask you about. You guys... You know, you, went, you yourself, your team, went through four different quarterbacks. Joe Flacco off the couch. You make the playoffs anyway. You go face this Texans team that I don't think a lot of people were really saw coming. C.J. Stroud, what does he do that rookie quarterbacks don't usually do in the NFL? Slows down the game. He slowed it down from you no know, since he's gotten here. He had, it, the moment hasn't been too big for him a single, you no know, single day. And uh, you no, know, having a. Uh, a uh, coach like that who was able to, to talk to him and talk to him about defenses, they'll you know, break it down for him, allowing it to be, you know, come come naturally for him. You know, he's able to pick it up each and every week, and I think he, he's got to be special. You know, I'm sorry, that's a great point. Yeah. A defensive head coach yeah. helping a quarterback understand defenses is might even be more valuable than an offensive-minded head coach, which is what people like us always think you should pair with a rookie QB. Yeah, do you get pointers to your offense? Do they ask for it? All the time. Yeah. I mean, we ask for the same thing. You no, know, we've kind of, you know, swap information. But, you know, I've had multiple times where, you know, guys on offensive line or uh, coaches will ask me, you know, what is this edge rusher going to do? What is this mm. uh, interior D lineman going to do? How is he going to attack us? Can you prepare us by, you know, you know flashing those moves during practice and, uh, you know, just try to get break down the mindset of those guys and kind of relieve that information so they're prepared to come Sunday. One thing about C.J. Stroud, I thought of you immediately. I saw a headline today. He's doing the NBA All-Star Game Celebrity Game. And I saw some play- – now, I I tell everybody, watch Miles Garrett playing basketball. Why are you going to do this? I think you are the most impressive YouTube basketball player I've seen. <laughs> you got to get out there. Why do you do it? Uh, maybe next year. Now, I've done it once, you know, focusing you know, on my health and you know, getting completely healthy. But uh, well, also just spending time with family and doing myself. And uh, no, I'm playing hoops, but just you know, not not in front of the, the masses at the moment. Who is the best basketball slash football player? Me. Definitely. Definitely. Anyone close? Anyone close? Uh, we'll see. I've, I've definitely seen some some hoopers uh, like you know, Mike Evans, uh, Tyreek has even hoop. I've seen OBJ. I've seen DK. I've seen Patrick hoop a little bit. Oh, all those guys can can hoop, but I just don't think they can. Did, did you ever think that was your career path? I did yeah. for a while. I mean, my dad played hoops. My, my brother played professionally. And uh, now I, want, I always looked up to my brother, you know, as far as so just you know, dealing with, you know, the, the day-to-day, how many people came up to him and how gracious he was and a nice of a person he, he still is. And I was like, Dad, I just want to play basketball. I want to be just like him. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I wasn't 6'10". You know, got, <laughs> got to about 6'5", and, and I still wanted to play, but... No, it just wasn't in the cards. Well, lucky there's no court here because I would probably have to embarrass you in one-on-one, Miles. I know I'm skinny, but, you know, uh, outside shot, oh, I, it'd be I, tough to cover me. I thought you were taking me to the post. 
Yeah, right. A guy, a guy plays at, a, at an Ivy League school for a couple of years, and he feels like he could be Miles Garrett, who's here on our set in anything, and that's not going to happen. On behalf of sleep number, how many hours of sleep you get a night? I try to get seven to seven and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we see, like, a Tom Brady's like, I need 12 hours. That's yeah, wild. Or, he, or he's also 58 Four. years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a young man. And what sleep number are you? Uh, I, I don't remember the number. Is it softer? Or? No, it, it's a firmer bed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I enjoy you know having a, a firmer bed. I, I feel like when you're, you're in a soft bed, it 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 doesn't promote you getting up and getting out of bed and being productive. <laughs> when you're, you're in a soft bed, you're just trying to relax. Yeah, very good. Miles Garrett is here. Can we do a little rapid fire with you quickly? We'll get you a couple questions. You give us the answer. The hardest quarterback to game plan for is who? Lamar. Just the running ability or something else? Uh running ability you no know, he it really picks and chooses i feel like uh even in the last game he had opportunities where he could have ran the ball but he chose to just you know stay behind the line he wanted to you know play that game and play behind the uh play behind the line of scrimmage and uh i think that was the difference because uh purdy you no know, did the opposite he, he won he won uh the game with his feet two more for you we got to be really rapid here uh quarterback you enjoy playing the most enjoy playing playing against Quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. Um, someone really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just someone you, you see them and you're like, I'm going to have a big day. <laughs> Joe Burrow. <laughs> Joe Burrow. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. I always, whenever I give an answer about Joe, I always say I love Joe. I don't know if he means it. I love you, Joe, man. It's not the personal. <laughs> but. Uh, outside of your own coaching staff, who has the best coaching staff in the league? Who has the best coaching staff in the league? Um, I think the 49. Mm, I'm either of those teams in the, in, the, in, the Super in the Super Bowl right now. Last one. Your favorite dinosaur. We know this is a, a passion of yours. Spinosaurus gypsicus. Why? Why? Absolutely um, mental, like, dinosaur animal. You look at a huge sail on its back, um, semi-aquatic, um, had a... Uh, aquatic like tail kind of like a, a gator does or a crocodile does had a a notch in its snout works it's better for eating fish grab a pescatarian diet or being a pescivore but also being the largest carnivore that we've you know seen in the the fossil record at least terrestrial carnivore so it's just and having these long arms it might have been a quadruped might have been a biped you no know, depending on the situation it's just it's just absolutely ridiculous that is a full and complete answer. Miles Garrett, on behalf of Sleep Number, thank you so much, and good luck. We know you're up for some postseason awards, including another Defensive Player of the Year. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you.